We are hearing more about this big, stunning hit on the NFL today. Some of the nation's toughest athletes, pro football players now retired, are suing and claiming a secret world of deception by the league, where powerful painkillers were handed out like candy, encouraging players to play with broken bones and agonizing pain. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila has been studying these breaking details. Violent hits like this one broke Super Bowl winning quarterback Jim McMahon's neck, an injury he says NFL doctors never told him about, leaving him to play hurt for years. So today he and 500 other NFL players are suing, charging the league hid injuries from players behind a mask of pain pills, creating a culture of drug misuse, substituting players' health for profit. What you end up having is anesthetized warriors going out there on any given Sunday um, that are just pumped up with a combination of narcotics and, and anti-inflammatories to try to get them out on the field. McMahon, who now suffers from dementia, has complained in the past, saying the NFL hid the effects of concussions from players too. The NFL denies this, but still settled for $765 million. They knew about it, and they didn't tell us. You know, that's just like flat out lying to you. Now, this second big hit from the players, including NFL Hall of Famer Richard Dent, called the sack man because of the punishment he dealt opposing quarterbacks. But in today's lawsuit, Dent says it was the league that damaged him by hiding a foot injury that still has him limping. He got shot up uh, 16 times in that toe for eight weeks in a row, and you lean on the league to hopefully medically help you in certain ways but when you look at it long term it's all about getting you back to work and getting you you know uh, to win and, and and play games nfl commissioner roger goodell was asked about the lawsuit late today I was only made aware of it just briefly but uh, i don't believe any of our attorneys have had an opportunity to look at it and as you know i've been in meetings all day the former athletes say masking their pain left them with lifelong injuries that cripple many of them even today and could have been prevented if they had only known and come off the field.